like a rat in the rain. Tsunami. Jump. Labyrinth. Come in. Who am I? Tell him I'm Doctor Who. Alberto, aka Fitness and welcome to the video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for you guys for getting me to 1,000 subscribers I really do appreciate that and at the moment I'm in the process of making my 1,000 subscriber tribute video and then after that I will be offering online macro coaching and online coaching like normal but I will be doing my own twist with that I will tell you about that in another video and just to say with this workout all the exercises, the sets and the repetitions will be in the description below if you'd like to try it and if you do, please let me know how you get on. Anyway, as you know, I'm a bodybuilder and a powerlifter. I'm actually looking at the video whilst I'm talking to you and I start off with a compound movement. So on this day, of course I started off with bench press and what I like to do is a high amount of sets with low repetitions. So I was doing between six to eight repetitions on this day for five sets. So the heavy weight is gonna put stress on the muscle. It's gonna allow your CNS to adapt. And what I mean by that is gonna allow you to adapt with the heavier weight, but you're also getting the volume in to help stimulate muscle growth. And then after that, and just to say, I don't go to failure with any of those sets, but by the last set, I really am struggling. And just to say, with all my bench press and pressing exercises, I'm always thinking about something called retracting your scapula. So what I mean by that is when you squeeze your shoulder blades together and you stay in that position, and once you press, you're just moving from the chest and from the arms. As you can see, my shoulders aren't moving forward at all. And every time I'm putting the dumbbell to the top, I'm always thinking about squeezing my chest. And just with this exercise, I did a bit of a variation on the incline press. So what I did is I pushed the dumbbell up, then I came halfway down, pushed it up again, then came the full way down. So what I'm doing there is I'm getting the full contraction at the top, I'm coming halfway down, and I'm going up again to get an even better contraction and squeezing even more, then coming all the way down. And what I find is I feel the stretch even more so I can get a better mind-muscle connection when doing the exercise. Anyway, as I was saying, retracting your scapula, and because what you see in the gym is sometimes people are barbell benching, and what you'll find is they like to bring their deltoid into the movement. The front of the shoulder is called the anterior deltoid, so what they like to do is bring their deltoids forward, and that means they put a lot of stress on here, and that's how you can cause rotator cuff injuries. So you should always think about retracting that scapula back. As you bring the barbell off the safety rack, what you need to think about is not pushing upwards because you're gonna lose tightness that way, what you need to do is just bring the barbell horizontal rather than pushing upwards. That means you can maintain tightness and then you can start the exercise. Anyway, back to the exercises. Just here, I'm doing not a completely low cable fly, but what I'm doing is bring the cable upwards, but it's not completely down on the lowest setting. It's like between half between halfway and the lowest one. So what I'm doing is getting good stimulation from the fibres here, but I'm also getting upper chest stimulation at the same time. But there is no like gold standard way with the cable fly. You can do it from up top, you can do it from down low, you can do it from the middle. You're just hitting your fibres from different angles. That's the main thing. Anyway, now we've worked chest. I moved on to triceps because we've already worked triceps as a secondary muscle when hitting chest. And just here I was doing a superset of cable overhead extensions and I went straight into a tricep push down. And I did that for five sets, so gain the volume in with very short rest periods. And I always like to take my sets to failure. Then to end with, I did a variation of a press up. So what you do is five full repetitions, then you do three mini repetitions at the bottom, three mini repetitions at the top, and then three full repetitions again, and keep doing that until you can't do any more. And this really kills your chest and your triceps, and now you're gonna see just how intense it was with this footage just here. <laughs> Thank you again so much for your support. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave me your feedback of this workout in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. Kabish.